There's one thing you can't fault Road Not Taken for, and that's its inventiveness. Developed and published by Spry Fox, it's primarily a match three puzzle game with roguelike elements. Now there are plenty of roguelike games out there, but this manages to twist the core mechanics of these games just enough to make a genuinely fresh feeling game from it. Provide a fairly simple low level example, if you match three beehives, you'll get honey from it. But there's more to it than that, however, and it soon becomes a game that's much more about learning and understanding the repertoire of combinations as it is moving about each puzzle you encounter. The premise seems fairly simple to begin with anyway. You're a mysterious ranger whose task it is to venture into frozen forests and rescued stranded children who don't have any food and can't find their parents. Much like games like Biding of Isaac, you'll move randomly to chosen grid-based environments, picking up objects and flinging them along alongside others to create new items and destroy aggressive enemies. Sometimes you must match a number of items of the same type together in order to unlock gateways. So all of this might not sound like surprisingly compelling gameplay, but as you balance each item together and figure out different combinations, you'll start to figure out the complexities of the game. And in that, it becomes surprisingly compelling. Each dungeon, as it were, were is played out in years, and after you complete each year, you go back to a hub town section. And here you can buy items and talk to various NPCs, but the crux of the game definitely is in the puzzle-based ba gameplay. Each successful journey into the forest makes the next year progressively tougher, until you either die or return home defeated, and with only half the children that you planned on rescuing. I actually found while playing that there was an enforced sense of guilt when I had to leave an area without all the children rescued. But when you realise that once you die, that's it, and you have to start again, you'll quickly learn that half a failure is perhaps better than no success at all. Talking about success, that's maybe the one thing about the game that I wasn't too keen on, and that's that it feels a wee bit too difficult and perhaps a little too harsh. And the learning curve, especially from year two to year three, is extremely steep. Well, that's in my experience anyway. Perhaps I'm just a bit rubbish at the game. I definitely found this one of the more fascinating indie games in the past couple of months. I just think that the blend of the unique art style, tone, and the unique match three gameplay just makes it an experience that you should definitely give it a try. One thing as well is that I found it hard to ignore the sense of repetition in the game every year just basically being the same concept and this argument can be said for a lot of games like perhaps Risk of Rain but I never felt this with the likes of Biding of Isaac which seemed fresh every playthrough. And I feel as though that even though the worlds themselves and the puzzles therefore are kind of randomly generated I do feel as though that there's still a lack of variety in the game. And that's where I think Road Not Taken ultimately falters. There just seems to be no sense of an end goal. Um, and yet again, that is possibly the same with every roguelike or roguelite game. But this game in particular, I just felt as though I was getting a wee bit bored of it after a couple of hours. Apart from the puzzle aspect in the dungeons, there is other slight gameplay elements like being able to interact with NPCs and give them gifts. This in turn allows you to become better friends with them and this permanent status means that when you do die you'll collect even fewer rewards from them because you've already received the rewards they give you in a previous playthrough. So while the game, initially at least, seems like a compelling and new take on the roguelike genre, I feel as though that after an hour or two there really is nothing more for this game to offer, and prolonged play only emphasises this. So whilst I definitely think Road Not Taking is worth checking out, just don't expect to be spending weeks or months playing it. If you have played it, 
what do you think of it? Did you think it's one of the best roguelike games in a wee while since Binding of Isaac or Risk of Rain? Or do you think it's even better than these games? Let me know in the comments below and thanks very much for watching. Thank you.